This is Come and See with Father Philip Hall, turning to and following Christ in the 21st century. Father Philip is parish priest at All Saints of Lincolnshire Orthodox Church in Lincoln, England. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Begin by reading Hebrews chapter 1, verse 10, to chapter 2, verse 3. Then Mark chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. In Mark, we hear about four men who carried their friend who was paralysed through the roof to Jesus' feet. They saw their opportunity, possibly the only opportunity they'd ever have, certainly the opportunity they had there and then, and they took it up, not just with one hand or two hands, but with eight hands, and they carried their friend to the Lord. They dug through the roof and they presented their paralysed friend to the Lord. And that friend had his sins forgiven and was able to walk. And he took up his bed and went home. St Paul, writing in Hebrews, says that we must pay earnest heed to the things that we have heard. Later he says, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? You see, right, like those four friends of the paralysed man, we must grab the opportunities that we have. The Lord comes to us at various points in our life, maybe only once. And as he goes through, we must grab hold and follow him. We mustn't neglect this opportunity. We mustn't ignore the opportunity. We must pray, pay great heed to it. You see, the thing is, as St Paul says, we might allow things to drift away. And then if we find that we have drifted far from our salvation, there's little or nothing that God can do to save us. If we have left our salvation behind, we have neglected it. We have not given it heed. We've not paid attention to it. It's a bit as if those four men had looked at their friend who was paralysed and said, what can we do about it? Maybe we can do it tomorrow. Perhaps it would be best if we came back when the Lord is outside and not inside the house. Perhaps it will be better if we turn up with him when there's no crowd around the door so we can just walk straight in. Perhaps he might even himself walk around here. And anyway, if God really wanted him to be healed, wouldn't God come to him and heal him? But they didn't do that. They saw immediately what they had to do. They had to grab up their friend with eight hands and cart him off to the Lord, dig through the roof, dig through it, and let him down in front of the Lord. And you also have to be equally enthusiastic about your own salvation, your own spiritual paralysis. You need to grab yourself up now, this very instant, not waiting for another moment, not waiting for tomorrow or next week when you might prefer to be holy, but right now, right now, grab yourself up with as many spiritual hands as you can muster getting your friends and others to pray for you and take yourself to the feet of the Lord. You pay earnest heed to the things that you have heard and you don't neglect so great a salvation. Otherwise, you might well drift away from God. And as you drift away from God, there isn't actually anything God can do for you. It's 
So act now. God bless you. Pray for me. Amen. Join us again next time for Come and See with Father Philip Hall, a listener-supported presentation of Ancient Faith Radio.